In this video tutorial, we take a look at how to set up the LX Dynamic Pricing Plugin on your WooCommerce Store. Once the plugin is installed on your WooCommerce Store, you can go to the Settings tab and then view the settings to be done. In here you can see four tabs the Discount Rules tab wherein you can configure all discount rules like Product Rules, Category Rules, Combinational, so on. The next one is the Settings tab. The tab contains generic settings that will be applied to all discount rules. It contains options to enable and disable the discount rules as well as settings to show the discount rules on the store page. In the license section, you need to provide the license key for the plugin. To start importing or exporting various rules, you can use the Import and Export tab. Let us take a look at how you can create a rule. Consider that you want to apply a product rule. Click on Add Rule, to begin with where you want to apply a 10% discount for a product when the product reaches subtotal of $100. In the rule section, create the rule. Provide a custom rule name. Need to choose how the rule settings are to be applied to your store. The plugin provides three options to apply the discount, selected products, all products in the category and all products in the cart. Here let's apply the discount for a specific product. Next is to check for the specific product property to apply the discount. You can apply the discount on the basis of quantity, price, and weight of the product. Select your choice and then enter the minimum and maximum range value for the choice. Here we choose the price for our demonstration and enter the minimum price at $100. In the next setting choose the type of discount to be applied in our plugin, we offer a percent discount, flat, fixed price. Since we want to offer a 10% discount, we choose a percent discount and enter the value 10 in the discount percentage. Moving to the Adjustments section. In this section, you can set the maximum discount amount for the rule, which will restrict the discount amount. The adjustment amount is the extra amount to be added to the amount. Then here if you check the checkbox for Allow Repeat Execution, the discount rule will be executed if the total quantity of the product is a multiple of the minimum or the maximum quantity set in the Rule section. Remember, for this the minimum and the maximum quantity must be equal. For example, consider you set the discount based on the quantity and provided the minimum and the maximum quantity as the same number. Then on the cart page, you can increase the quantity of the product, to see the variation in the discount amount. As the quantity becomes multiple of the minimum and maximum quantity, the discount is applied. Next, we need to set the allowed roles and dates. As the name projects, the settings are done to restrict the rules to specific user roles as well as lets you specify the dates for which the discount needs to be applied to the store. The final subsection is called the restrictions. In this section, you can restrict the discount based on the customer email ID and specify the minimum number of previous, the minimum total spending on the previous orders, which means that the discount rule will apply only when these minimum restrictions are met. Finally once done, you can save the rule. When you are applying multiple rules for the same product, only the first matching rule will be applied because it is the default option. The first match is decided upon the execution ordered, you can drag the and drop the rule to rearrange the order of execution, this will change the rule number. Once done, you can see the discount rate is applied on the cart page. The same can also configure the category rule. The only difference here is that, instead of products, you will apply the discount on a product category. Next, we can try to create a combinational rule. Here we click on Add New Rule to add a new rule here. As you can see, the interface is pretty much the same as in the product rule. However, there are few new features here, wherein we offer a discount to two or more combinations chosen here. Let us consider offering a flat discount for say two products when brought together gets a flat discount of 10. Now to get this rule process, firstly we provide a name for the rule and then choose two products for which the discount needs to be applied and also the desired quantity for the products chosen. Next, we choose a flat discount as the discount type and 10 as the discount value. Then you need to go to the restrictions section and then choose the products here. You can either choose any one of the products in the combination of all. If you leave this field blank, then the discount is applied to all the products in the combination rule. Then you can click on Save Rule to save the settings. In the cart, when you add the same combination of products, you get the flat discount as mentioned in the combinational rule. Even when one of the product is removed from the cart, the discount is removed from the cart. In a similar manner, you can apply a combinational rule for categories. 
let us not see how to apply cart rules. Let us consider that we want to apply a 10% discount on the cart when the cart amount reaches $100. And also we are adding a maximum discount amount of $15. This means that when the total discount reaches $15, then no more discount will be applied. Here is how we can configure the same. Click on create a new rule. And then add a suitable name for the offer we are providing. In the next option select price option from the list. You can also notice that there is another option called the number of items, other than weight and total units. This option counts the total number of items in the cart. This is only available for the cart rule. This value is completely different from the total units. Now enter the minimum price at $100, and then choose the discount type as a percentage discount and then enter the price value as 10. Then go to the adjustment tab and then provide the maximum discount amount as $15, here in the restriction settings, you can also see the minimum and the maximum stock limit required to offer the discount. Here you can also see advanced restriction. This setting allows you to restrict cart rule to specific product attributes and the attribute values. Here when you click on add new attribute, you get to see the attributes for which you can apply the cart rule. You can choose to apply the cart rule when the products in the cart can match any one of the attributes, or should match all the listed attributes. You can also apply discounts on the basis of payment methods. Select payment methods from the selection list, for which you choose to apply the cart rule. This setting will list all the manual as well as premium payment extensions you can also choose the shipping methods upon which the discount can be applied to the cart. Just like payment methods, you can restrict cart rule to desired shipping methods. This setting will list all enabled default shipping methods as well as premium shipping methods. Once done, you can click on the save rule. Once saved, on the cart page, increase the quantity of the product to reach the minimum price of $100. Once reached you can see the discount applied. You can increase the product quantity until the maximum discount is reached. Let us now configure buy one get one rule, BOGO rule. This rule is pretty simple. Whenever a customer purchases one item in an offer, another item is offered free of cost or sometimes at a nominal rate. Here is how we need to configure this rule. Click on add new rule. Here provide a rule name. Then choose the product to be purchased and the product you are offering for free or upon a nominal charge. You can even increase the product quantity as required. Next click on the adjustment tab. You can enter the adjustment amount as $5, is the amount that will be adjusted with the total discount price. You can even, not provide this amount to offer the product as free. By default, every rule is executed only once. If you want to execute the rule more than one time, you can tick this checkbox. The rest of the settings are pretty much the same. Once done, click and save the rule. Here is how the discount is reflected in the shop. When the offered product is added to the cart, the free product is automatically added to the cart. You can see that upon purchasing, the product offered with the product will be charged $5 regardless of the price of the product. Similarly, you can configure the buy one get one category rules too. Here when one product from a category is purchased, you can offer another product from any category or not as the free product or upon a nominal charge. Next, we move to tag rule. This type of rule applies to WooCommerce product tags. Here we choose product tags to apply the discount. Suppose if customers purchase any two distinct products from clothing or t-shirts tags, they get a 10% discount. Let us see what are the steps that need to be taken to configure the discount on your store. First, enter the desired tag rule name. Choose the product tags for which you want to apply the rule. You can apply the discount based on either the total number of distinct items, weight, price, or total units of the product. Here we choose the total number of units and the minimum number of units as 1, then we offer a percentage discount of 10. Upon applying the rule, you can see that whenever a product with the tag clothing of t-shirts is purchased a 10% discount is applied on the cart. Next, let's see how to apply the buy one get one BOGO tag rules. Suppose we want to set an offer where if customers purchase two units of products with books, they get two Woo album absolutely free. Now let's us see how we can configure the same. Firstly enter the desired offer name. Select product tags as books that customers need to purchase products with that tag, to be eligible for a free product. In the tag, name add tag books. You can check the rule for the total units as 2. Then choose the product to be set as free along with the product as Woo album. 
You can also choose the quantity as required for the offer. And then save the settings. Upon applying, you can see that when the product tag with books is purchased the free product Woo album is automatically provided in the cart free of cost. Now that we have configured all these rules, let us now see how these rules are executed and displayed on the store using the settings tab. In the settings, you can see two column, one is the disabled rules and the other is enabled rules. If you want to disable any rule, select the rule and click on the left shift button here. And if you want to enable the rule, choose the rule and then click the right shift button here. You can move the position of the rule by choosing the desired rule and then clicking on the up and down button in the reorder section. This will determine how the rules or discounts will be applied to the products. In the next section, you can decide on how the discount rule is calculated. Available options are, best discount, checks for the best discount among all the discount rules, and applies. First match rule, applies the first discount rule encountered for the product. All matched rule, applies all the discounts for every product that comes with the discount rules the next is the pricing table. In this setting, you can configure how the available pricing discounts will be displayed for a particular product on its product page. Remember, the pricing table will only show offers from product rules. You can choose to enable or disable this option, select WordPress user roles for which the pricing table has to be shown, and specify where the pricing table is to be placed. You can also set a custom short name for product quantity in the pricing table. You can change the position of pricing table on the product page like one of these to suit your need. Once you apply the same, here is how you can see the product pricing table on your product page. Next is the offers table. This setting allows you to display all the available discount offers available for the product on its product page. Here you can choose to display the offer table on the product page or not. You can also opt for the position of the table on the product page. This is how an offer table looks like as per the settings. Next is the BOGO option. For buy one get one offer, you can choose to add the free product automatically to the cart. If you have disabled this option, customers have to add the free product to the cart, manually. You can enable or disable the same. Once all these settings are configured, save the settings. The next major setting is to import or export the rules. To export the desired rule, choose the desired rule, and then click on export. The rules will be exported to a JSON or a CSV file. Remember you can export only one type of rule at a time. You can choose to import discount rules using either JSON or CSV file. Select the discount rule to be imported, and choose the required file to import. You can import only one type of discount rule at a time. You can either overwrite the rules, if the rule number already exists. Or create rules with a new rule number. This assigns new rule numbers to the rules imported, including the duplicate ones. Or skip rules, if the rule number already exists. The final setting is to restore. Click this restore tab to delete all discount rules. This option will restore the plugin to its initial stage. If you want to display all the offers and discounts on your store page, then you can also create a page on your store using the shortcode. Upon activating the page, you can see all the discounts and offers that are available on your store explicitly. This is how you can set up dynamic pricing in your store in an effective way. For more updates, keep visiting the plugin page. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media channels.